Hello, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Sean, and over here, uh, I still got it. This is my buddy. Sh uh, my name is Bernard. What did I say? My name is Sean. This is my buddy. This is my buddy Sean over here. So we're trying to figure out some of this stuff. Uh, we went through a couple minutes of uh, audio tech. Uh, I still don't think it's working. You can see his uh, screen, his little icon pop up when Sean says something. See, his, his icon pops up, but there's still no audio. Um, so we're like halfway there, I think. Um, it's like two old guys trying to figure out how the internet works. Um, yeah, so for now, I guess uh, we'll still continue the stream the old-fashioned way with uh, Sean chiming in. Unless, Yoji, uh, you have, you're have you able to help. Um, I'm using the streamkit discord.com um, link that uh, Michael DiNicola was gracious enough to share with me. Um, so that's enabled us to get... Um, That's enabled us to get this stuff up right here. Um, but still haven't figured out to actually connect the, the actual audio. So that's that picture of Sean was taken last week. Um, why? Does he look uh, more strapping or... That picture of Sean was taken back in 2000, and I want to say 2008, right? Somewhere around there, 2000. And if anybody can guess where that picture is taken from, I'll give you an extra slice at the end of the stream when we're giving away the sketches. I actually also figured out a way to make your slice bigger, which, because um, I guess you can increase the percentages of how of of someone winning of someone winning um, how's everybody doing today uh, this afternoon this weekend um, it's a really nice day outside hence we're inside drawing that's the life of an uh, of an artist besides who needs to go outside when you have vitamin D this is like going outside, right? <clears throat> Let me take my vitamin D pills, so I won't be uh, so I won't be in a corner in a fetal position suffering depression. Mm. <sighs> okay. Let's see, <clears throat> Mr. Josh. Why hi, Crispy Papa, Ace, Yoji. We got this. We got the old gang back. Who are we missing? We're missing Crispy Egg Roll. Where the fuck is him? Come on. He told me to stream during the day, and uh, I don't see him. You should drop everything when the uh, notification comes on your email. <coughs> uh, greetings, Crispy Papa from Australia. It is six in the morning over there, huh? Six twenty. Early riser. Wow. Welcome. Uh, I have a buddy. That, oh, I have a friend that just went back. I think she's in Sydney. Maybe she's in Melbourne. Crispy, do you know a girl named Margaret Zhang? I think she's in. Let me see her. So what should we draw today? Sean actually has a... Sean, are you going to give away your prize today? 821. Mm, still. That's still early. Do we want to reveal the surprise for, for everyone? Yeah, if you can figure out what sign Sean is holding, you get an extra slice for the wheel um, 
And actually, if you just do a Google search, I think. Did I find it on Google? Was I so lazy that I just did a Google search? Um, I just gave it away. You know, back in uh, junior high, uh, I went to, uh, in Miami, I went to a program, a gifted program. And uh, we'd spend like a day every other week in a library. And they'd give us uh, stuff that we'd have to find. You know, go through the card catalog and all this shit. So I think that's really taught me to be a good internet sleuth. To find uh, like an internet detective. Um, where I can find pretty much anything I want on the internet. Without having to get some of those detective apps. I mean, you can find people's addresses without, like, having to join a doxing thing. You just, <coughs> if they own property, it's easy. Uh, and you'd be surprised what you, you'd find online, too, because a lot of people just post stuff randomly everywhere. Oh, yeah, she's in Sydney. So, okay, anyways. Have we come to a consensus on what we're going to draw today? And Sean, have you... Are you going to give it away or are you going to announce it? And uh, I got a question for Yoji. I guess... Uh, <coughs> I know some people have music on their stream. But I feel like if I'm going to upload this later onto another um, server that has intellectual rights, property rights issues, I should probably not have music on it, right? Actually, Sean, let me see. Excuse me, I just burped in my mouth. Um, I can actually upload that as a separate um, image. Let me do the, let's see, Sean's already, Sean cheated already, he already drew something. Oh. Well, she's not really a comic book artist. But I think she was probably pretty pretty popular. Like a let's see, Sean Chen Art. Sean Chen Art. Uh is it that that sketch here with the uh with the Iron Man. Let's do this. Uh, it's a, what I'm looking for. A browser source. Browser source. Okay, browser source. Okay, here we go. Browser source. Hmm, look at that. And it's inked. By the way, uh, make sure you give Mr. Chen a follow. His uh, SeanChenArt.com right there. Instagram. We're going to be giving away this sketch today. So if we're giving away his sketch, can I work on another sketch that I don't have to give away? Would that be okay? Because I have to do like a Spider-Man sketch. Or I can do like a quick one and then we can give two away. What do you think, Sean? We should have talked about this beforehand. It's Spider-Man today? So, okay, let me do a Spider-Man sketch, but um, that's... I can't give it away. It's actually for someone. Um, but we'll give away this... Awesome. 
I'm still trying to figure out the reverse camera. This awesome Sean Chen sketch later today. My stream, my rules, of course. Okay. Let's do a Spider-Man sketch. Sean says it's Spider-Man Day. I mean, I don't know if I should believe him. Mr. Joshua got the uh, union sign correct. Uh, that guy, you are an internet detective grade level A. Did you look it up on Google or did you go through it? You should actually go through his entire um, Instagram feed to figure it out. So I think I'll do like a full figure. What's a... It's an interesting Spider-Man pose. I mean, usually it's him, some kind of crazy, distorted, uh, twisting. What? Yoji said he's looking up copies of the boulevard online. And some people are selling it for 100 to 150 bucks. Oh. You know what? Maybe I'll give away like a... Which one's 100 and 150 bucks? Is it the issue number one? Those are kind of rare because we kind of sold out of those. Um, but I still have like a... I still have a few lying around. And they're magazine size. They're like oversized. That was the first. Uh, <clears throat> um, that was the first uh, Boulevard sketchbook that we did. Uh, the other ones are all comic book size. Um, but. Uh, and also the other ones are. I like the other ones a little bit better. Especially the last one that we did. Number four. Featured. Uh. Well, three and four. Three, we had. Did we have Sienkiewicz in number three and David LaFuente? Or did we have Sienkiewicz in number four? And then we also had Walter Simonson. There was one that we did a uh, Rashomon kind of. Um, uh, where Simonson drew a single full page splash uh, of these like detectives. And then from that single image all four of us came up with our own story uh, based off of that one image how we got to that one particular shot um, figuring out the webs is extremely difficult the face is easy but then once you get to the neck and actually the the torso how it comes out the webbing actually goes opposite reverse direction in some cases uh, because it spreads out in the mouth, but then it kind of comes in and then it goes out again. But then when you get to the chest, it's almost like two different webbing patterns. Um, and then I'm not too excited about this pose. I mean, this is really, I'm just drawing a pose. I'm not really drawing a... Oh, maybe I can have him like... Okay, we can do this thing, yeah, I mean, since we got the wheel figured out, um, I think the wheel is kind of fun, the spin wheel. Did anybody throw up from watching the spin wheel last time? Because we had like, I don't know, we had a ton of slices. Um, it's almost like a uh, Little Caesars pizza. Uh, I would never encourage anybody to buy Little Caesars. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just if you're in a pizzeria uh, in New York, you know. But you know how they cut the slices like so thin that you can really eat like 10 of them. Um, what if he's like... Oh. 
Sean and I had a conversation before our stream with uh, John Paul Leon. And uh, we we're talking about the ease of drawing or building up the muscle of drawing and talking at the same time. And how when I first started streaming this uh, latest Cabin Fever edition, it took me uh, <coughs> half an hour just to get the right pose on a headshot. And now the last couple streams, things have been going pretty smoothly, but here again today. Yeah, imagine if Jim Lee had to put everybody in a wheel. Definitely somebody's throwing up. I mean, uh, I think that would be like a goal, right? Is to have a wheel with so many slices in it <coughs> that we'll call it the dyslexic, um, I don't know. Right. Sometimes a thousand people. Okay, let's see here. Spider-Man. <laughs> kind of like this. Uh, usually his, his crotch is exposed <coughs> when a lot of Spider-Man poses. So maybe we'll give away, let's see, we'll give something away at the one hour mark and then give something away uh, in the, uh, at the end of the stream. Uh, I think that will encourage viewership to stay on. Um, What do you think? This is almost like a Spider-Man. As if we're looking down on him. Like kind of a action pose. Ace, what do you think? Ace, are you still on? Um. Right, wheel of epilepsy. W W E W O E. We'll call it the W W O E. I don't know if you're supposed to make the O silent. Uh, w E W E. Uh. Who are some of your favorite Spider-Man artists? Do you guys have any? F I mean, Tom McFarlane. That guy really. You can kind of tell, like, the Spider-Man's gone through a few different eras. Now it's back to the old uh, eyes where this has become more popular now. But back in uh, McFarland, he had, like, these huge eyeballs. Right. Let's see that. Uh, I would think Sean would be a very good Spider-Man artist because... Sean is extremely patient with his architecture and um, when you were drawing Iron Man you had some of those city scenes that were like man those were and this was also before digital artists digital art was very you know uh, popular so all that stuff was hand drawn nowadays a lot of these uh a lot of the stuff that you see is city stuff. I mean, even back then, there were people that were still photocopying, um, scanning in, uh, statting in city uh, cityscapes. But Sean meticulously drew every single one. Um, SketchUp, yeah. So they use SketchUp. They use uh, Manga Studio Pro has some perspective tools that help out. Um, uh, or they just take pictures. Use, you know, take Google pic pictures off of Google or whatever. Um, put a little... 
put a little filter on it as if I would not notice but yeah people don't know let's talk about Sean today a lot <clears throat> so, Sean went to Carnegie Mellon how much can, we, can I re reveal about Sean's past I think there's a uh, this I, I noticed online there's a discussion about uh, a lot of uh, artists that you know young artists especially here on on Twitch or on Twitter um, they talk about art school you know how um, how important is it for you to go to art school and uh, I think for Spider-Man I want to have like a little bit of a twist in his body he's always moving that way it gives him a lot of kinetic energy even though it's a still image um, and the thing with Spider-Man too is and I'm going off I'm talking about like three different things at the same time the thing with Spider-Man is uh, Spider-Man really works in an urban city environment because of the buildings because of his ability to climb vertical structures um, in LA you know, be kind of boring for Spider-Man to be driving around in a car. Um, certain pockets of L.A. Outside of downtown, uh, you're looking at two, three, four-story structures. Um, right. So there is uh, art school. Going back to that, art school is, I feel I'm a proponent of it. I mean, Sean went to Carnegie Mellon. Sean, what was, the, what was the mascot for Carnegie Mellon? Carnegie Mellon, another Division Three school. Uh, but you guys also had, uh, like, other majors, right? You guys had, like, did you guys have, like, liberal arts? Did you guys have, like, business, economics? The Carnegie Mellon... Oh, you guys have music, too. I actually looked at Carnegie Mellon when I was in high school. Uh, back when I was playing the violin, and I had my junior year, I was considering, do I pursue a fine art school, a design school, architecture, or do I pursue something in music, a career in music? I mean, I guess... Had the music career turned out I would be streaming right now playing my violin and you guys would be hearing classics uh, Vivaldi Mozart I was going to not say Mozart but then I ran out of composers outside of Vivaldi Sean that's like a dream of mine though and I wish I can find an artist, a female artist, and then, because, uh, I don't know. Well, Sean, you didn't meet, you didn't meet your wife at, at art school. You met your wife, she was a neighbor, downstairs neighbor. Sean did not describe, prescribe to the theory of never shit where you eat. Um. Beethoven, yes. I don't think Beethoven didn't have a lot of, uh, <coughs> I mean, he had some, you know, string, string music, but like, a dude like Vivaldi was like, a lot of, a lot of uh, pieces for violin and stringed instruments. And in fact, like when you're a violinist, that's like one of the first, first pieces you play as a as a solo piece, as a, like a Vivaldi piece, D minor or something, I don't know.
Wow. But at the end of the day, if you were to pursue a career, if you were to pursue art school, which I would recommend, uh, also understand that once you get that degree in art, it doesn't mean shit. It's a lot of cursing today because it's Saturday. Um, your degree in art is not going to guarantee you anything. Uh, except that you have a nice piece of paper to hang up on your wall. Especially if you have a Zoom now. Everybody's Zoom. You can put that little framed certificate in the back. and It'll look really nice. Um, but outside of that, it doesn't really guarantee you much. Um, yeah, I'm not thinking this. What if I were to do the Sal Basima leg where he comes in and it's like he's like running at us? But it is a great um, it's a great environment to be in, especially in your younger years, uh, to be in a creative environment where you're surrounded by other artists. Uh, those are all things that will come back and influence you and propel you. Uh, I went to art school. I went to Pratt Institute. Uh, actually, I went to Pratt Institute and uh, majored in architecture. Um, and while I was in architecture school, got a job drawing comics professionally. So there are now schools that actually give you a to have a sequential art major. I mean, back then the only school that really kind of taught comics was. Uh, Qbert Qbert School and Joe Qbert great comic book artist um, and there's some guys that have come out of that school uh, but nowadays there's uh, Savannah College of Art and Design actually offers a sequential of art uh And they've actually produced some some people, uh, some good, some good artists, some some artists that also don't want to be recognized with the school as well. But um, I'm still trying to figure out this leg. But I also went to an art high school. So I did have some formal art training uh, in high school. And art high school really is, uh, you know, your freshman year in art school is going to be foundation. So you're not going to be able to draw comics your first year unless it's on your own free time. Um, they're going to give you painting, sculpture, design, color theory, uh, all the basic basic art classes <coughs> some of it is to weed out students that aren't necessarily serious about art but at the same time it's also teaching you fundamentals it's exposing you to things that you might not have pushed yourself to expose yourself to had you be had you been by yourself and so therein lies my main proponent of art school is that it provides a particular avenue um, <clears throat> I mean the Cuba school I, I don't think they've I've been to the Cooper school but back when when the comics industry was primarily based in New York uh, you at least got 
to go into the Marvel. You got more ed- editors that would come out to the school and lecture, and then I think they'd have like a field trip into the uh, Marvel offices or DC offices. Um, I mean, the Cuba School pumped out a lot of uh, um, we we I think we met some people at Valiant that went to Cuba. Crispy Egg Roll is here. Uh. Yeah, I mean, your first year in art school, you're not going to be able to have a lot of freedom. You, well, you can't take classes <coughs> like electives. Um, again, they're just trying to weed out people, but they're also trying to make sure that everybody gets a proper foundation. Um, and then maybe you're towards the end of your second year, your third year, you start majoring in something specific. It's also a business. Art school is a business, right? So... Um, if you, you know, they want you to, if you went straight into comics or whatever your medium was, that's one less year money, uh, of, um, tuition money that they make from you. So, how cool would it be if his leg was out here, like the old school? Right, and especially if you transferred, uh, I'm running out of paper now. See, this is what happens. You get it's a prime example of like drawing too much too soon, locking down a particular pose. In the old days, as if I drew down here and I ran out of room, I would have just kept drawing the rest. I do like this. Pose. SVA School of Visual Arts actually has a couple of comic book classes. Our buddy John Paul Leon, we talked about earlier, went to SVA, and there was also a group of uh, students that were very dedicated into comics. Savannah College of Art and Design, again I said earlier, they have a uh, sequential art program. You can go there and learn specifically about comics, um, and they do prepare their students. Um, for kind of a cross uh, medium so you know comics is really storytelling so there's storyboarding there's animation uh, video games um, all different kinds of other mediums that you would be able to apply a similar kind of skill set um, SVA that Walter Simonson used to teach there I don't think Walt. I don't know if Walt teaches there anymore but you're right Yoji, uh, Klaus Jansen teaches there, and I think uh, maybe a couple other people. Um, but also, I would, I think if you listen to any John Paul Leon interviews, uh, he also credits some other illustration teachers there um, that he took that helped influence his particular style and approach towards drawing. Um, so that's, you know, kind of the great thing about art school is that you're exposed to different um, instructors, different styles. You might have a friend that maybe took somebody's class a semester earlier, um, and then that pushes you in a particular direction. Um, that if you were to do this on your own, uh, in your own home, uh, by yourself, you can still accomplish it, but it requires a particular level of dedication, almost to the point of being like a monk or something. Um, and for most people, it's extremely difficult to, to zero in and focus because in real life, you have a lot of other things that are happening around you, family, work, social, um, that uh, can ultimately derail uh, most people. So, <laughs> Kreisart went to SVA. Also, there's a... Uh, thing that if you go to SVA you have to only wear tank tops when you draw so apparently that's I think Kree's uh, 
Capri's fashion statement. You know, if you notice John Paul Leon, he's only pictured in tank tops. I don't know if Kreese has ever said that. Has ever explained why he only wears tank tops on his stream. I mean, when I stream, granted, you can say that. I, I only stream with green shirts. I've been wearing the same shirt for nine or so episodes so far. cool when you have guns like Kree's you can show them off uh, if I wear a tank top I usually have some side boobage that pops out right here so it's not so pleasant to look at for like two hours How are we on this pose? This is kind of a standard Spider-Man pose. I'm a little disappointed in myself. Uh, I was hoping I could do something a little bit more unique. I've got to get my head into the Spider-Man. By the way, Sean, did you disconnect your... Discord because I don't hear you. <coughs> but it is true that most artists do their best work uh, in some kind of underwear. So if you want the SVA, that's tank tops. Uh, if you want the Carnegie Mellon and Pratt, it's underwear. kind of a prerequisite <coughs> French artists you have to wear a beret so if you went to an art school in France uh, it's a beret It'd be nice if his torso was a little bit more twisted. Right. This leg is too long. We'll eventually get there. So we said at the one hour mark, I'll give something away. Give away a Boulevard sketchbook. And then at the end, at a two hour mark, which is how these streams have been. Uh, we will be giving away Mr. Chen, Sean Chen's amazing Iron Man sketch. Prerequisite for winning the Iron Man sketch is uh, you have to follow Sean. Do we? Let's make up some rules while I'm drawing because I like making up rules. Uh, I'm a fairly liberal, pro progressive guy, but I love making up rules. I mean, ultimately, rules are made to be broken, but it's still cool. It's still fun to make up rules. I'm going to bring this arm forward so we get a little bit more. Does anybody want Sean's underwear? Sean is offered to also give away his underwear. The same underwear that he wore that he drew the Spider-Man pose in. The other inter interesting fact is uh, I've done lectures at, uh, at Pratt, at School of Visual, uh, at uh, Savannah College of Art and Design, at Art Center. And... Um, what a lot of you guys might not know or see is that 
the majority of the sequential art students are female girls so I don't know how it is at Pratt but I think times are changing And a lot of the students there, not necessarily fans of superhero comics, although they, they all know the characters, but they're also, in many ways, manga fans or anime fans. I think I'm liking this torso a little bit better, although it's a little flat. We need to round it out. I'm looking at the screen. Yoji, you should have gone to regular art school. This is an art school in Maryland, Maryland Institute of Art and Design. They're very n well known for their ceramics program. Every art school, too, has a different uh, you know, specialty. Art Center, College of Design, great for entertainment design. Um, they've placed a tremendous amount of alumni in the entertainment design world. Cal Arts, another art school here in the LA, it's northern LA area. Great for animation. Uh, their program is specifically tailored um, for animation, Disney, Nickelodeon, Pixar, which is Disney. They all recruit from Cal Arts. So if you wanted to be an animation major, if you want to do animation, go to go to Cal Arts, right? So there there are positives about going to art school, and you don't again you don't need to graduate. I don't think. Uh, never wait, especially in art. You gotta do this when you're young. Well, Yoji, you know, ceramics, I mean, you can make ashtrays, you can make uh, bowls, <laughs> uh, you can make, I mean, ashtrays are, well, I don't think they're as popular anymore. But I mean, look at, think about how many, how many things need bowls, like, everybody's got a pet, all pets need bowls, right? It's a market right there, boom. Kickstart that shit. But you don't need to, well. The, the graduating is one thing. It's not equivalent to getting a job. So. Um, just because you graduate doesn't mean you're guaranteed a job. Although it is nice, it is nice to say you finished something. So has anybody guessed what uh, what Sean majored, what his major at uh, Carnegie Mellon was? I don't think anybody will. Anybody want to take a take a guess? The winner will have an extra big slice on the spin wheel. Haza Hasman. This is a, uh, well, if you can't tell by the pose already, this is a pretty particular unique pose for a superhero, and I'm not really happy with it. It's a little flat. You can kind of tell the torso is a little flat. But it should be... It should tell you already. Hmm. 
No, you don't. There's Haza. Uh, have we met before? I guess also like thinking about it. Um, maybe I should have. Yeah, I'm not too happy with this. 45 minutes in. And I think uh, I've bitten off too much that I can chew. So, well, thank you, Haza. If you hang on there, we're going to be giving away uh, my co host, Sean Chen. Still have not figured out how to get his voice, but he's contributing in the chat box there and you can see him uh, over here um, Sean has a Iron Man sketch that we're going to be giving away it's inked Iron Man sketch it's on his Instagram make sure you give him a follow Sean Chen art um, Try a completely different pose. Sometimes I see the pose before I draw it, but this this time I. So thank you for joining me for the first 45 minutes of nothing where we talked about the merits of going to art school. Uh, we discovered that Sean is a union advocate and uh, uh, that Crispy Papa wakes up at 8 o'clock in the morning in Melbourne but he does not know my friend who lives in Sydney. I thought all Australians knew each other. But it's cool. This one, I don't know. Sometimes the paper is cursed. You know? Paper like this sheet might have been meant to be... Might have meant to have... DC character on it. So Spider Man just ain't working out. Well, I can't really hear you, Sean, anymore. <coughs> Have you said anything? I don't see you. I don't think you've said anything in a while. Oh, and that Sean draws in his underwear, depending on the art school that you go to. Um, the teachers make you draw wearing particular things. So if you went to SVA, you have to draw on a tank top, as evident by Kree's art. Kree's is also another streamer here on Twitch. Um, and if you went to Pratt or Carnegie Mellon, you have to wear underwear, like, you know, drawers. This one will maybe be a sneaker ad angle. And actually, you draw it this way, but it might be. I finish it upside down. And that would be cool. I 
think I've drawn something like this before, but I've also seen some other poses. It's almost really difficult to do an original Spider-Man pose because there's so many... So I could hear Sean earlier, but I don't hear him anymore. In the old days, uh, people, you know, Marvel Comics, DC Comics, they would have bullpens, bullpens, BU, like, you know, baseball bullpens. And uh, artists would go work in house, and uh, Jack Kirby, you know, they'd wear, like, shirts and ties. Although Jack Kirby, I think, was a short sleeve shirt guy, but he'd wear ties to work, smoke a pipe. Um, Back then, artists, or life in general, people were were much more formal whenever they left the house. I mean, how much would a person stick out nowadays uh, if they wore t-shirt, shoe, sneakers, going out in public? We should get Kari Randolph in here. He should. He's pretty good at drawing Spider-Man. And then we were discussing earlier, like, who your favorite Spider-Man artists were. But I don't think we got too far on that thread of the conversation. <coughs> yeah, maybe. Well, I think this person I'm drawing this for, I think they, they're just a regular Spider-Man fan. So, but that is a good idea, though, Crispy, to do a... Uh, and I think I might bring this out more, his leg out more, so that it's the more contorted Spider-Man gets. Uh, the kind of cooler he looks, right? S Sean actually drew, you said three issues of Spider-Man? I can only imagine, like, that would be one of my favorite books to draw, Spider-Man. Um, but just the sheer amount of, like, architecture involved. And the thing is, like, I would want to tell a version where you really are stay true to the, to the architecture and you really kind of see how small Spider-Man is. Imagine a, a, a kid, a 20-something-year-old, I guess he's 20-something-year-old now. You know, scaling the side of a building in New York City. How small would he look? And how impactful would that image actually be? You know, if you were to see it. So. A sense of scale is... Something that a lot of times gets lost. Because, you know, Spider-Man comics... Spider-Man is so big in a lot of shots... Um, because he's the hero of the story. I think I should have just stuck with the headshot today. I might just give up. Because this is also going to be an inked piece. Uh, so I don't want to get too... Uh, Spider-Man really requires, drawing Spider-Man really requires a different kind of thought process. Uh, 
bullpen, B U L L P E N. Well, Crispy asked a good question were there a lot of politics in the old bullpens? Um, Sean was in the bullpen. They would call it Knob Row at Valiant. <coughs> uh, my first uh, three years or so at Valiant, I was mostly worked uh, in the dorms, Willoughby dorms at Pratt Institute. Um, on the summer, during the summers, uh, I would work, um, I would go into the Valiant office and work there. We had a story where I was punched by some body odor while working uh, in Valiant one summer. That was not very pleasant. politics uh, yeah maybe a little bit um, I'm using OBS to stream yes so we're trying to figure out I have a discord channel um, Sean is on my discord channel he has uh, so if you guys are like tech savvy please by all means help out uh, Sean is on my discord page or server whatever I don't know the terminology is and um, I've given him access to the voice channels so earlier I could hear him I can't hear him now I don't know why um, so we have a widget uh, up here you can see him if he says something his widget used to light up I don't know if it lights up anymore I have that part of the screen covered right now and um, just trying to see if we can get his voice activated so he no longer uh, so he can talk and also like maybe you know eventually you guys if you guys want to join in on the conversation every now and then it'd be kind of interesting to to hear Crispy's voice uh, get like an Australian this would be like a global you know Australian accent going on See if uh, Yoji has like a Maryland accent. Uh, what's a Maryland accent? You know, like a Boston accent is like you don't say your eyes. Uh, but I'm sure there's like a Maryland accent, right? Um, kind of liking this where he's kind of like dribbling underneath his legs, but he's like spinning. He's gonna shoot his web uh, web underneath the, underneath his leg. that but it needs to be more twisted uh, let's see Yeah, sure. Go ahead, man. Mr. Joshua, if you want to. Mr. Joshua is the winner of uh, two sketches so far, I believe. Mr. Lucky, last time he only had one slice and he was able to win just with one slice. We had people with uh, multiple slices, five, six slices. Uh, what are we thinking about this here? Still kind of stiff. Need to loosen up a little bit. Uh, 
I mean, I don't think you can publish them in a book, but so I don't own the copyright to those characters. But once you get the art, it's yours. If you wanted to do whatever. You had a. Uh, I mean, I have a bird cage. Sometimes I'm out of paper, you know. I try not to have a connection with the art afterwards. I mean, Ace, is there a Philly accent? There's like a Philly accent, right? There's got to be like a Philly accent. Ace is from Philly. someone I hear something now yes all right I, I can hear Sean now so now it looks like I'm talking to myself online but I can hear Sean in my headphones This this Spider-Man sketch was not a good idea, man, cuz the more I work on it, the less I like it. So I think like his chest should be up, but then his body is torso is different. And I'm not following any of the rules that I set up drawing-wise. So or I tell people, don't get too far ahead in your drawings. Make sure you keep it nice and loose. And see what happens. I get too far ahead and... I get too focused on one part of the figure. Get too detailed. And then I pull back and I realize that and I don't really like the other parts of the drawing. Now I'm stuck. And I'm actually kind of hungry now too. So I got to route my desktop audio through to the stream. Okay, so is it audio input capture or is it audio output capture? Can you guys hear Sean now? Can't hear anything. So Crispy, is it uh, audio input or audio output? I'm on an older OBS system running on a slightly older Mac. iMac is about 2013, so it's not running the most current uh, Mac OS either. Any ideas on how I can salvage uh, salvage this uh, this sketch here? I kind of like this um, web slinging underneath his leg kind of thing. It's like a like a basketball dribbling underneath the leg thing, but um, I'm having difficulty figuring out the rest I will tell you that the, the hands are, are, are fun to draw on Spider-Man because there's rings on it so you can really get a nice definition or get a directional sense Audio mixer tab on the bottom. Let's see here. Uh, 
I see there's a mixer, okay. I have the audio input capture, volume is on. Audio is it input audio input or audio output? <coughs> I guess is my question. Let me take a break from this. I mean, when I go to the settings, the only options I have in settings is default, built-in microphone, Yeti microphone, or the two um, Logitech cams. So I have built-in microphone selected, but that not, but that might not be the right selection. Can you guys hear my stomach? Output. Okay, Haza. Okay, great. Haza, you get an extra slice if this works. So I have my output setting, okay. But when Sean says something, the mixer doesn't pick up anything. I mean, is there a mixer? Mixer settings. Can you share the OBS screen? Sure, how do I share the OBS screen? <laughs> uh, do I create another browser source or create a... Uh, I guess I can create... Ooh, that's my stomach. Uh, window capture? Window... OBS. Is that it? All right. Does that help? All right. This is like getting a uh, audiovisual tech department. I just called the IT department. something otherwise I'm gonna faint okay go to sources press plus okay did that and it said there's audio input capture audio output capture browser source color source display capture um, Okay, I already pressed the plus. Well, you guys can see this live, huh? So I have mixed art, mic aux two, mic aux one, Yeti, which is the microphone I'm talking out of now, and audio output capture. Okay, audio, audio, audio output capture and make sure both Discord and OBS are capturing the same output device. Yeah, maybe I don't export this onto YouTube, <laughs> but okay, anyways. We are, this is like a whole inception. I'm really appreciative of you guys also, you know, putting up with this uh, technical. So we go, uh, let's see. 
So how do I make Haza? How do I make the audio capture output? Audio output capture and make sure both Discord and OBS are capturing the same output device. So what does that mean? Um, here's the audio output. That's the audio output. But you see like when I'm talking the Yeti. I have a Yeti thing right here. That's my Yeti. Can't see it, but that's my Yeti microphone. This is the audio output and the device here. See, when I click on it, it doesn't let me select anything. You guys could hear the air conditioning. Yeah. So Mac OS OBS doesn't have that option. So <clears throat> I'm running into some difficulties. Uh, go to go to disk and go to settings and voice and video. Okay, go to settings, voice and video. I have audio and video. Video output is currently active, uh, so audio, audio, output device, it will show you which audio device you are on. So under the audio, there's desktop audio device, that's disabled. There's desktop audio device 2, that's disabled, that's the only option I have. Mic auxiliary audio device 1, I have disabled, default, built-in mic. Yeti mic and the two streams. The mic auxiliary audio device 2 I have uh, on the Yeti mic but I now switch that to built-in microphone or default. Does that change anything? I would need a third party software to do it. Input should just be my microphone, you know. I mean, if you guys hear Sean say anything at any time, that would be great. I can hear Sean right now. Um, man, those airborne vitamin C gummies really. You know, I think I consume maybe like at least 100 to 150 calories a day just in gummies, vitamin gummies. Uh, okay, so I need to download some kind of uh, software. Yeah, I think Yoji sent me a link to one software. So I guess I'll do that later tonight when I'm off stream. Um... I think I'm going to give up on this Spider-Man sketch. I know you say don't give up, but I'm not too happy with this. All right, what do you think, Sean? I'm kind of like, I like shooting between the legs, but... Um, all right, let me, let me get rid of this. Window capture. I think there is a updated OBS. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Sean, what do you think about this sketch? Anything I can do to... Ace, what can I do to save this sketch? If you're still on. Hey man, how's that? Don't worry about it. You know, any kind of help helps. Um... I'm not extremely tech savvy, I just turn it on. Also, my iMac is getting kind of old. It crashes every now and then too, so... Uh, I'm just fortunate it hasn't crashed during any streams.
because then that would be like really really weird today we didn't tell any uh, prank stories oh, this, is, this is an L I took an L today I took an L like the Denver Nuggets I took an L Denver Nuggets were down early fought back went up by two at halftime they were looking good skinny Jokic Yo Jokic Yo Jokic looked good but then third quarter came the Miami Heat ended up blowing them out by the way I'm a Miami Heat fan so I think they won by like 20 something and Kelly Olenek went off for like 20 points in the last I don't know five minutes or something So I could pull a Kelly Olenek maybe in the last minute or so in the stream. Like boom, boom, boom. This thing comes. Mm, what am I going to do with this arm here? No, going straight back looks kind of weird. And his whole body is kind of stiff. <laughs> I think we're gonna we're gonna name this the uh, erasing episode because I think I've done more erasing than I have drawing. Oh, your Mavs lost, man. Mavs, you know they got you guys got some good pieces. I mean, you got probably perhaps one of the one of the best players in the league, and one of the second best players, Porzingis and Doncic. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. Let's see. This will be the uh, Valiant. Summer, summer, sniff your underarm pit special, Spider-Man pose. And then here he's holding into the, right, hmm? maybe. But in reality, I should have like maybe, it's too far up. Oh. I think I'm gonna faint from hunger. Oh, something just happened. Was it a follow? Thank you. Is that Travis back there? Uh, not very happy with this. Okay. Yeah, I haven't eaten all day yet. Uh, except for those, uh, this was the ori original drawing. Something else just happened. Oh, thank you, Jay Dang. Welcome to the channel. Today's uh, stream is mostly about uh, erasing. You can see there's different techniques in erasing. I like to keep the eraser marks on the board and then do like a little rub afterwards. Sometimes I keep, I don't wipe away all the erasers because uh, I can use them. Again, in theory, what I like to preach to people is uh, when you first draw stuff, especially in the loose pencil stage to be very loose yeah I think we should just uh, give up today and stream again tomorrow try to figure out this audio stuff
Hello, Mr. Wilson Thigh. Yeah. What do you mean, Ace? I'm not really understanding. Do you think time progresses at different rates at different time zones? Oh. Um, well, if you're having fun, sometimes it goes faster than when you're not having fun. It just tends to drag on. Like this stream is not going anywhere. I think we'll call this the lost stream because this stream will somehow magically disappear. Sean, you still sure you want to give away your sketch? If I'm gonna not delete this, if I'm gonna delete this stream, I can still do this uh, underneath the leg thing. Yeah, I think we need to take this 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 particular episode out the back and uh, put it to rest. It's just one of those days, you know. It's one of those days where we got blown out left and right. We went out. We should not have gone out to the club the night before before the big game. Uh, we come in today thinking that we're gonna run all over this team and we're not hitting any shots we're getting blown out <coughs> and I'm not even using the right pencil right now look at this no wonder the line seemed like kind of weird this is you guys got me frazzled here this is my 03 pencil this is the one that it, this is a 2H lead that's why I was like this lead is like looking this pencil line is looking like Kind of thin and kind of light and kind of hard. It's scratching the paper a lot. This is a blowout loss. Who was the guy that got beaten up by the? Who was the boxer that got beaten up by the fat guy? Well, yeah, I mean, well, I think Mike Tyson maybe overlooked Buster Douglas. Here we are again. Let's just end it with this. <clears throat> we started with something nice. Well, we started with a blank sheet and we ended with a blank sheet. How about that? Uh, <clears throat> give me one second. I'm going to go get a uh, Boulevard sketchbook that we're going to give away. And then showcase that. Sean. Uh, let's see, maybe type something, Sean. I will show you a window capture. No, that's not it. Is that you? No, nope, that's not it. Browser source. There we go. I'll be right back.
All right. Let's see who's still here. Who is still here? Who is still left? Uh, all right. What do we have here? Let's go to the wheel window. Well, let me go back to this real quick. Okay. We're in the wheel window. I'm a wheel watcher. You're a wheel watcher. Let's see here. Browser source. We'll save this one for last. Right. You guys can see my messy desk. How did this get mixed up? Okay. <clears throat> That's the Sean Chan sketch. We got some Boulevard sketchbooks. So, okay. These are, uh, this is the Boulevard sketchbook number one. It is not CDC graded or CGC. What did I say? CDC. This is, uh, can you count these bio pages as actual pages of art? One, they're totally 120 pages. There's a lot of nice stuff in here. It's black and white. Let's see. Tommy Lee stuff. Some Sean Chan stuff. All right, it's a nice. Oh, I should have looked at this before I started drawing my Spider-Man. Just trace this one. Thanks, Sean. Come on, buddy. So we got uh, uh, this is the original Boulevard number one. And uh, we got uh, uh, Boulevard number two. Boulevard number two. This is uh, comic book size. This is another nice Wolverine by Sean Chen. You have another Spider-Man thing in here that man could have like traced, copied. Some X-Men, Wolverine, sketchbook. These things are also great because we have like little blurbs in here about talking about our thoughts and processes, processes while we're drawing. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do three giveaways. One is just gonna be for. I'm giving away the farm today. Well, we got uh, John Paul Leon, Trevor Goring, Tommy Lee Edwards, Sean Chen, and myself. So we all know John Paul Leon. He's probably one of the uh, the greatest modern day artists, comic book artists. Uh, his most recent book is uh, Creatures of the Night through DC Comics. Uh, but he and I go back. Uh, he's also the first artist of Static. Uh, I drew a series called uh, Earth X. Um, also, a mini series that came out a few years ago called Wintermen. Trevor Goring. Trevor Goring is a comic book artist, but also storyboard artist. He's one of the the top storyboard guys in the entertainment industry. Um, Tom Lee Edwards. Tom Lee Edwards, we all know, good friend of ours. Um, comic book artist, illustrator, concept designer. Um, Tommy's latest book. Well, he did the Question series, 1985 for Marvel. Um, 
He had a couple books out through uh, called Turf through Image. Uh, Sean Chen, we all know. Um, right here, this guy. And uh, then me, Bernard. So, first wheel, let's set this up. Get my Streamlabs. Uh, please type out your name so I can easily get a hold. Uh, why hi, are you still here? I'm actually just gonna use the same spin wheel from before. But if you're not here, then I'm just gonna delete you and then I'll add some people. <clears throat> and then what I think I'll do is, uh, yeah, maybe instead of having all these, well, actually no, it's, it'd be funny if somebody threw up. So why hi, Mr. Joshua is still here, I'm hoping. Um, Sean Chen's here, Beavis and Butthead, or my two birds, of course, they're gonna, they're eligible to win. If they win, then uh, nobody, w well, they win. Crispy's here, right? Let me add, uh, well, let me go down the lane. Is Bane, Bane is not here today? Bane? Bane, Ooh, Bane something. Reather, Brain Reaker, okay. Going once, going twice. Caleb is not here, is Caleb here? Caleb, are you here, Caleb? I don't. I didn't see you earlier. Uh, let's see. Caleb is not here. Cludwig is Cludwig here today? Cludwig. Cludwig is not here today. Cludwig going once, going twice. Classy bathrobe is classy. El Cabon, welcome back, El Cabon. El Cabon did not give me his real name when I mailed out his artwork. Therefore, I got returned by the USPS. Um, okay, Uncle Bone, you are qualified to win, but you know, if you've won before, you only get one slice. But that didn't stop uh, Mr. Joshua from winning twice. So, classy bathrobe, going once, going twice. Nope. Okay, uh, Hokio. Hokio, we had a follower from Japan last, last stream. Hokio, are you still here? Going once, going twice. Nada. Okay, now let me add the new guys. We got, uh, who do we got? Uh, Rob Schneider. Is this the real Rob Schneider? Rob Schneider. Okay. Rob. Uh, let's see. Kevin P. West. Kevin P. All right. I'm just going to call you Kevin P. It's like a, like a rap name. Mr. Wilson Thai. Mr. Wilson. Wilson Thai. Okay. Wilson Thai, I will give you green color. Uh, Kevin P, I will give you forest green. Haza. Haza, here we go. Haza, let's go. Haza. Haza. Where are you uh, ch chiming in from, Haza? Where is everybody chiming in from? Kevin P. Almighty Ace. Ace. Let's update this real quick. You guys can see an updated wheel. This is the most fun part of streaming. Giving stuff away. There's a lot of green on here. <coughs> Don't worry. It's got all that green. Rob Schneider, New York. Jay Dang. Jay Dang. Yes, I gotta add Jay Dang. Come on, Jay Dang. You gotta Jay Dang. Okay. Jay Dang. All right. Anybody else? Am I missing anyone else? Uh, 
speak now or forever. Hold your peace until the next stream. J Dang. Okay, let's see. I think we got a good good amount here. Let's check this. Updated wheel. <clears throat> crispy egg roll. Well, crispy papa's in Melbourne. Crispy egg roll is in uh, Northern California area. Right. Okay, anybody else? If you see your name on here, let's see. Okay, now let me let me allocate the number of uh, slices that you get. Crispy. Crispy is not one yet, so you have. Crispy has a lot of slices. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Crispy has five slices. You know what? I think I'm going to. This is. Because this. It's very difficult to add, and then you got to move people around. I found this new function on the wheel. Where I can just increase the amount. So it fattens your slice a little bit. Okay, so uh, please make sure that your name is on here. If you don't see your name on here, uh, please type something. Bulagnabat. Uh, hello. Bulagnabat. Okay, well, let's add Bulagnabat. Why not? Next time I should I should say something a quarter of the way into the stream, like a key phrase, and then I'll say you have to refer back to that phrase. What is that phrase? Like I said the number, uh -uh, and then bula that way. Okay, there we go. Add category bula. Let me add your color so you can quickly recognize your color. Okay. Updated. Now I'm going to increase the size of the slice. Crispy Papa, you got six. Let me add crispy, you get six. Add the number. Uh, uh, Yhai, have you won yet, Yhai? Kevin, you got three. All new people get three. Wilson Thai, you get three. Haza, you get three. Ace, you get three. J Dang, you get three. Bula, you got three. If you've won, you only get one. So let's look at what this pie looks like. Mm, yeah, so it's looking kind of tough for these guys over here. Almighty Ace, that's right. You guessed the major. Wait, what was, what was your guess? I didn't read that. Somebody guessed the union. Who guessed the union part? They got an extra slice. That was a game that we played. Ace, what, what was Sean's major? Did he confirm it? Sean's major was motorcycle bike, uh, more, motor, motorcycle riding. In particular, those uh, ninjas. Sean, you and Ace would get along. Sean is into bike riding, although he's retired now. Why hi? Have you won before? Please reply. Otherwise, right now your thing is at one. Yoji, have you won before? Yoji, you won one from like a while ago, but I'll give you three. Because that was like last year. Industrial design. There you go. Okay. Very good. All right. So you get one more. Ace gets four. Uh, anybody else? I said you should get a... 
Who who subbed today? Somebody just subbed, right? Somebody just subbed earlier. Um, if you sub, you get an extra. Uh, I say you double whatever you have. Mr. Joshua, I give you one more. Well, <coughs> man, you already want two drawings already. All right, you you still stuck at one, man. But you know you got pretty good luck. So. Uh, I have not watched Doom Patrol Haza. Um, it does look like a fun show, but I um, have not watched it. Yeah, Mr. Joshua, you won two drawings already. I want to keep you at one. All right. Um, Jay Dang subscribed today, so Jay Dang, you get you get double your slices. So you get six. You have three. You get six. All right. Thank you. And then who else are subscribers? How do I see that you're a subscriber, Mr. Joshua? Is that because you have a first next to your name? Okay, all right. I give you Mr. Joshua. I give you two. Cause double, double, two times one is two. Anybody else have a El Cabon? Oh, El Cabon, are you here? I asked for you earlier, El Cabon. The stars and the number one. Ooh, stars. Crispy egg roll. Crispy egg roll. Crispy, where are you? Oh, there's two crispies. I only have one crispy. Crispy Papa. Come on, man. Crispy egg roll. That's the, that's the best kind of egg roll, too. Crispy. As opposed to soggy. Nobody likes a soggy egg roll. Right? Crispy egg roll. Have you won yet? Yeah, I think you won something earlier. Right El Cabone. Okay, well El Cabone, I get I give you one slice, you know, you get one slice. Everybody everybody gets a chance to win. Crispy Crispy, have you won before? I don't remember. Yeah, he's probably won some panties. We're also giving away Sean's underwear, too. Um, and you can wear it as a mask. And it will actually improve your drawing skills. I didn't say that. Sean said that in my... Right? Yes, but don't shh, Ace. Okay, one slice for crispy. Okay, let's see. I think we're good. This is updated. Look at that. Crisp oh. Crispy Papa. It's a huge slice. J Dang has a huge slice. Those are the two favorites. Alright. First package. Uh just gonna give away. Boulevard sketchbook number one. It's got eraser shavings on it. It makes it more authentic, right? I'm gonna give this away. I'll give three things. This, and then uh, I'm gonna give uh, one and two. And then we got at the end the Sean Chan sketch. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's spin right now, real quick. Uh, we are good with this uh, with this wheel here. Let's go good with this wheel any complaints speak now or forever hold your peace until the next spin here we go first spin for boulevard number one oh, who's that yoji yoji boulevard number one yoji you get the boulevard number one with the eraser shavings on the back Uh, you know what? Surprise! It's signed by everyone except Sean Chen. I can forge Sean's signature if you want. 
All right, Yoji, this is yours. Okay, I wonder if the other ones are signed. Hmm, this is such a surprise. I'm surprised too. Okay, now you get number one and number two. Number two is not signed. I'll sign it if you want. Number one is signed. Oh, look at that! Wow. Trevor Goring, John Paul Leon, and myself, Tommy the Evans, no Sean Chan. Sean was being very antisocial that day. Was this the day that we ripped up your sketch and you refused to sign? Okay, let's go again. Let's spin. Uh, everybody, make sure. Kevin P. West, you have a slice? Where's Kevin P. West's slice? Your slice is there. He said, all right. Man, Bula, you live in Senegal? How much is shipping to Senegal? Oh. All right, I'm going to really sp spin the roll of dice here. Ready? Three, two, one. Nobody won. That's like right in the middle. Or Haza. Is that Haza? You think Haza won? Look at that. Man, what the fuck is wrong with this app? Look at this. Look at how close that is. Is that... Is that Haza? I don't know if it's Ace. It looks like it's right on the line. It's a tie. Uh, Haza and Ace. You guys want to do like a uh, like a rock paper scissors, or I spin again. I'll spin again, and I'll give each one of you an extra. Uh, I get half of the book. I can rip it in half. Spin again. Uh, what is the consensus? Uh, Anybody else? I can I can give you guys an extra slice, like not an extra, but like an extra opportunity. Haza, you would get like four. Right now you have three. Ace, you have four. You get five. Spin again. Spin again. It looks like everyone's saying spin again. How about this? I add an extra slice somewhere else, right? That way, uh, I add, 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 add an extra slice. So Haza, you get an extra slice. All right, and Ace, I'll add you, give you an extra slice. We need a, that's why I like coming up with rules, but we didn't come up with a rule in case of a tie. So you always gotta like, you know, make sure you come up with an extra. So how's it? You actually have like two slices now. You have the big slice, and then you have an extra slice that's just like one. All right, let's go back to this. Yeah, really, it really should be a tie. I mean, then which, in other words, is a regular spin. So. Let me save this. There is drama. That's why you guys set up all the rules beforehand. Uh, all right. Let's go again. One more spin. Ace. Oof. Ace comes through. Ace comes through. Actually, also because you won, you got. I have to decrease your your slices for the next. That only makes sense. Haza, I'll send you something. So uh, the winners, you gotta DM me on Instagram your address, and include your real name, not like uh, El Cabon who didn't include his real name. Therefore, he got his package returned in the mail. 
El Capone, your sketch is sitting on my kitchen counter right now. So. Lesson learned. Ace, you're back down to one. Update. Okay, let's look at this update here. See, the thing is, like, you don't want to win too early because now your chances are, like, less for the Sean Chen sketch, which... Here we go. Let's, let's, let's take a look at this beauty here. This uh, Sean Chen original inked Iron Man sketch. This is a beauty here. You can go check it out on Instagram. How do I get rid of this login? Sean, do you want to, we're going to give this away, this is going to be the creme de la creme, what you guys waited two hours for. Uh, Sean, do you have anything that you want to say before I click spin the wheel? We have one more. Jay Dang and Crispy are looking pretty good for this sketch, I must say. Actually, I hope maybe uh, my man in Senegal wins this one because Sean is going to have to mail this out. So, <laughs> uh, Sean is gone. He is feeding his kids. Did he say he's leaving? He's feeding his kids? Come on, Sean. I mean, have you, when have you ever seen, like, a co-host leave the show, in the middle of the show, to go feed his kids? I mean, granted, it's the coronavirus, quarantine. Uh, okay. All right, no Sean Chen. Um, there's actually book three and four, too. There's two more volumes to the, to the boulevard. Uh, if I find them, and I have them usually laying around somewhere in my studio. I also have this book. This is a, uh, well, you can't see it because the screen's covering it. All right. Uh, Sean's not here. Let's do the spin. Everybody ready? Crispy, J. Dang, you're looking very good right now. All right. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Let's see. Let's spin the wheel. Kevin P. Kevin P. Kevin P. Where are you at? You're in New York. Kevin P. Kevin P. Congratulations, Kevin P. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. Today's uh, stream is all about erasing. I uh, hope you learned some great erasing techniques. You know, keep the crumbs on the paper and use your hand to smear it and then draw very lightly because you're always going to make mistakes. Um, maybe we try to stream again tomorrow night if we can get this audio fi figured out. Uh, but enjoy the rest of the weekend. Uh, stay safe. Uh, make sure you DM me your address. Kevin P2 also. I'll, that way I'll forward it to Sean. Um, and your full name, not like El Cabong, who did not send me his real names, therefore his sketch got returned in the mail. Uh, the winners are. I guess I gotta rewatch this. Who won the first one? Crispy? Which Crispy, though? The Crispy with the C. Right? And then. Uh, Yeah, crispy with the C1, I think. Oh, Yoji. Yoji won. Yoji and Marilyn won. Yoji and Marilyn won the first uh, Boulevard number one. Um, that's signed. And uh, you see my turmeric. I take a lot of vitamins. And then there's also 
Ace one, one and two. Uh, and we'll catch you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then maybe early next week. Try to make this a little bit more regular. Um, you guys can help me clean out my studio. And uh, stay safe. Take care. Thank you again.